I've started. Um, yesterday, 13 November 2017, Al Gore, do good business. So before I start, I want to be very clear on AMT Trips. It's a for-profit with purpose company, and we address two sustainable development goals, responsible consumption, and by doing so, climate action. So I don't always responsibly consume alcohol myself. And one night after a very long week at BCG, a tree-hugging friend of mine pointed out to me that actually the alcohol production process is very environmentally unfriendly. Unfortunately, that sparked my interest as a bit of a nerd to do some research. I found that the cargo and freight transport industry is one of the largest carbon contributors globally, and that because we like convenience, we rely heavily on heavy commercial trucks. So shout out to Tesla for the first electric truck, but that doesn't address the full problem. It's an $8 trillion industry, logistics and freight. So clearly there's an addressable market for me. By 2050, unfortunately, it's estimated that the industry will be emitting 71 times the weight of a Manhattan island in carbon. Shocking. Furthermore, when you look into the industry, you'll find that 30% of vehicles actually run empty. That means we're shipping space, air, waste. What that does, it increases cost, and obviously it's not great for the environment. So I tried to do something about it, and I started empty trips. Simplistic terms, it matches the demand and the supply of cargo on vehicles. By better optimizing the cargo utilization of vehicles, we reduce waste. So would people want it, and can we make money out of it? Well, I'm an ex-consultant, so yes, we can. What we do is online auction rooms with corporates, and we upsell cargo insurance. Since launching six months ago, we've had a lot of traction. I haven't only aged. Um, we have 100 transport companies. This gives us access to the largest fleet in Africa. And we'll be launching the rail exchange, the first of its kind, also in January. So what am I looking for? Strategic anchors. We've raised seed capital, but we want cargo, pharmaceuticals, aid. We need to remain relevant. Also, if you want to second anyone. So we've won a number of awards, and this all makes me really happy, and it's cool, and it's fun. But overall, I'm just happy because I can soon, hopefully, enjoy my whiskey guilt-free. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much for this energetic pitch. And let's hear the jury's opinion. Be kind. Uh, is there any specific reason why there's so many empty space in the lorries driving around? Very good question. So, obviously, I'm speaking very highly from the South African context as well. Corporates typically work in silos, and the service providers also work in silos. So, if you're an operator for a specific company, um, you'll only work on their cargo. Instead of crossing the boundaries and using basically the commercial shared economy, if I can put it that way, which is sharing fleets, sharing consolidated space and warehousing to optimize the space. So, because you're working fragmented, obviously, you leave a truck when you have cargo to move, instead of consolidating multiple cargoes at once. So sorry, the fragmentation is the big issue. Thank you for your presentation. And um, I agree it's a big waste that there's so much space which is empty and could be used differently. Could you just go back on the uh, ask or what you need? Because I wasn't really clear, like you were talking about cargo and operators and strategic anchors. Yeah. But anything else? So. Um the critical part for myself is because we've raised capital, of course we want some more tech development um, support. But for me to make sure that my solution is perfect, I need more cargo. And to do that, I need anchor partners. So I'm actively going after the World Food Program. They have a lot of aid to move around. There's a lot of savings I can bring to the organization. But for me to do that, I need to integrate. They need to give me the opportunity. And that's kind of the key thing that I'm looking for. And then also secondments. Um, technical skills, obviously in Africa we don't, we're not that great. I can't afford any XBCGs, they're just too bloody expensive. So technical secondments would be great and also office space. I mean, everything costs cash and I want to make sure that our raise goes as far as possible. So all of those little things actually just helps us. Thank you. 
First of all, awesome pitch. Um, and I'm curious about competition. So you have similar players in Europe and the US. Let's say they plan to enter the African continent. What would set you apart from those other players? Um, a very good question. So firstly, of course, we've become a target. We've already been approached by two international players, and that makes me really excited. Um, I'm not a vain CEO, so at the end of the day, you want to collaborate quite closely. I think our key differentiator is the fact that we've, about, we've already established over 100 corporate clients. About 10% of them are listed companies, and that means that we already have quite a captured market. So from that, we already set ourselves apart. And hopefully our solution continues to innovate and be cool. And of course, we copy and paste quite a lot from other guys as well. So uh, worrying about the team, I mean, uh, your XPCG and uh, the tech development, is that in-house and who do you have yeah. that you really... Okay, so I have a chief technology officer that's been with me since day one. So I started working on the prototype two years ago, Moonlighting. Um, <laughs> and then we have a junior developer also on the team. Then I have two business development executives or managers, because it's a very relationship orientated industry with a lot of education that's needed. And we currently, well, that's also part of why I was here today, was to try and find junior developers or outsource teams just to help us fast track where we're going. Okay. And that's it. Everything crystal right. clear. Thank you so much, Benji. All the way from South Africa.